Hey guys, how you doing? It's Michael O'Call Richardson from Destination Africa. And you know what guys? I was thinking something. I taught my children how to ride a bike, or at least the first two, pretty early on. So Inshra was three years old and she was the youngest when she first learned to ride a bike. And Asada, I taught him and he learned how to ride a bike when he was four years old. Right now I'm with my niece, Iria, and she doesn't know how to ride a bike. She's a little bit older, but I think I can get her to ride a bike with a few of the principles which I taught them in five days. So guys, join me on a journey. Hopefully you can learn a thing or two about how to teach your children to ride a bike in five days. Okay, join us. Okay, so Iria is on the bike. I'm just doing a quick check just to make sure she's borrowing Inshra's bike and just checking to make sure it's roughly the right size for her. So a good guide is when she sits on the bike, she should be, her feet should be able to touch the ground comfortably for this technique which I'm gonna teach. Right now, she's having to tiptoe and what that does is that makes her a little bit uncomfortable. So I want her to be totally comfortable because she's got to learn how to balance, steer and do all these things at once. So tip number one, is get a bike which is at the right height. So I'm gonna lower her seat by probably about four or five centimeters. See you in a bit. Okay, so guys, the first thing I'm gonna do is lower the bike seat so that her feet can comfortably touch the ground because I wanna give her confidence in riding, okay? So you may need a little wrench or you may have a box spanner or sometimes, depending on your bike, you may just have the hands-free tools or the hands-free locks to unlock it. So let me just quickly adjust it and then we'll take it from there. Okay, so the seat is down. It should be roughly the right height for Iria. And I'm just gonna to sit on it just to see if it's the right level. Iria? Yeah. If it's the right height for you. Okay, so your feet can touch the ground comfortably? Yeah. Okay, great. So, whenever you're teaching someone how to ride a bike with this technique, always make sure their feet can touch the ground comfortably. Because if not, they're more scared about falling than they are about learning and trying to do the right thing. So, rule number one, the seat has to be the right height. The second thing are the pedals. If you have a full size bike, they don't need pedals because we are not gonna use stabilizers. So initially, the bike is gonna be converted into a little scooter. So it's gonna be a little push bike, a balance bike. So they're gonna figure out how to steer, how to balance and how to move fast. And then we're gonna put the pedals on and it'll just be wheels in motion. Okay, so. Can I try with, with yeah. No, 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 we're not riding, we're going to take the pedals off. So just a little turn and the pedals should just come loose. And again guys, no braces, no support, no stabilizers. Children just figure it out and it's all a matter of time. So one off. And that's it. So now, all right. Okay, Ria, so I've taken the pedals off. I've lowered the seat so it's the right height for you. So what we're gonna aim to do is for you to balance the bike. So there's two things you need to do when to steer the bike, to keep the bike upright. Because by default, hips. okay, good. Your hips are number one. So when you're sitting on the bike, you use your hips to lean the bike either left or right. So if I lean to my left, the bike would instantly want to fall. And then I use the handlebars a little bit and that would make it turn, okay? And the same way the other way. You, have you seen on like the Tour de France when the cyclists ride with no hands and they're lifting their arms in the air? Yeah. Like, yeah! They're using their hips to control and sometimes you can even use that to turn corners, okay? So the second is are the handlebars. So obviously you turn left or right with the handlebar. So what I want you to do, the faster you go, the more the bike wants to stand up. The slower you go, the more the bike wants to pull down. Okay? So the, so the faster you go, the easier it is for the bike to stay up and for you to stay up. Okay? So what I want you to do is to push the bike with your feet almost running like, remember um, Fred Flintstone? Uh, the yeah, Flintstone. I guess. When he used to run his car. 
Yeah. Yeah? So I want you to do that with the bike. Okay? So literally just go as fast as you can and stay on it. And when, you, and when you're going pretty fast, take your feet off the ground and let the bike carry it. Okay? Give it a shot. Take away. Okay, take big steps, almost like you're running. Big steps, like you're running. Bigger, 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 you're running. Okay, right, what we may do, are, are, are your feet comfortable on the floor? Okay, so this time I'm gonna push you. Gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna push you. So, when you're turning, which way should you lean? I want you to turn left. Right, one second. I want you to turn left. So you lean the bike to the left side and you turn the handlebars to the left. Right. So what's happening is, your hips are going to the right, but the handlebars are turning this way, so the bike is going to fall over that way. Always keep your, your hips and, your, and the bike in the same direction, okay? So I'm going to push you, and once you're straight, then you straighten the handlebars, okay? So feet off the ground, feet off the ground. I'm going to push you, I'm going to push you. I'm pushing you, I'm pushing you. I'm pushing you, take your feet off the ground. Okay? Feet off the ground. So remember, remember all the time, here, it's not just your hands, it's your hands and your hips, okay? So you're going to lean the bike to one side with your hips, lean to your left and turn, and turn to your left. That's it, that's it, feet off the ground, as long as the bike is going, okay? You're leaning to your right and the bike is falling over, okay? So slightly to your left, feet off the ground. Okay, so, so stop one second. Right, rule number three. You are always in control of the bike. The bike isn't an animal, it's not going to get upset. It's not going to throw a hissy feet, it's not going to throw a tantrum. You are in control of the bike. So whatever the bike is doing is a result of something you're doing. Okay? Yeah, you understand that? So, if the bike is going to fall down, what do you have to do? You have to correct it. So if the bike is going to lean this way and fall down this way, if the bike is leaning to pull this way, what do you have to do to correct it? Right. If you do that, the bike, what would happen? The bike will still keep falling. You have to turn the handlebars the way the bike is falling and it will stand up. Yeah? If the bike is falling this way, which way would you turn the handlebar? Like this. And as you're moving forward, the bike will want to stand up. Okay, so remember, whatever the bike does is because of you. Don't be like, oh no, the bike is going to hurt me. Oh, the bike is going to kill me. No, the bike isn't. You have to tell it what to do. How did that feel for the first time? Good. Okay, right. I said, remember, don't overturn the handlebars. Just do it very gently. Yeah. Lean your hips very slightly into it. So it's almost like you're doing this. Look, doing turn the hips and the hands. Hips and the hands, just a bit. And only when you need it. Okay? Let's go around a few more times. Wait, can we? Okay, yeah. Wait, yeah. Okay. Just out here. We are on the bicycle. Well done, Aria. Okay, one, two, three, go. Yeah. Okay. Good. That's it. Turn with your left a bit. Just a bit, just a bit, not too much. Okay. Okay, straight a bit and adjust a bit, just a bit to your left, a little bit, that's it, that's what we need. Good, that's what we need. Good, slowly, that's I it. Take control. your time, no you don't, you're in control. I you're in control. Okay, good, good, keep going. A bit to your left, let's go. A bit to your left, let's go. You're oversteering, you're oversteering, you're oversteering. Very gently, that's it, very gently. Just a bit, just a bit, not too much steering. Good. 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 Right. So, guys, rule number one, spend time with them, just pushing them around. Remember, the hips and the hands, very gently. We're not doing big turns, just light movements. Make sure you've got an open space that you can do it. And tomorrow, go on to day two and see where well, they should be one step closer to riding a bike in five days. Michael O'Call Richardson signing out. Hey, chill.